Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this section, I am going to share about the topic on how magnetic nanoparticle can burn cancer cells. So let's start. Cancer is one of the major problem people are facing worldwide. So basically, the cancer is a genetic disease that is uncontrolled uh, growth of abnormal cells anywhere in the body. Okay, so these genetical changes that uh, cause cancer that can be inherited from uh, our parents or they can also arise during the person's lifetime as a result of either that occur as a cell divide or damage to DNA uh, by certain environmental exposure. So such environmental exposure uh, which include uh, substances such as chemical exposure or radiation. Okay. So there are different uh, types of cancers that is around uh, 200 types of cancer are identified till now. Okay. So uh, this is uh, there are uh, convention there are different diagnosis the diagnosis and therapeutic uh, methods uh, are available to uh, treat and diagnose the cancers. So uh, the type of uh, in this uh, tutorial I am discussing about the type of different types of cancer treatment especially hyperthermia and uh, conventionally there are different type of cancer treatments are available that is uh, the type of uh, treatments which uh, includes uh, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy like different therapies are available okay so that uh, type of treatments um, received to the patient that dep depend upon uh, the type of cancer and uh, how advanced it is okay based on that uh, the uh, physician gave the treatment okay so some people with cancer will have only one treatment uh, but most people have the combination of treatments such as surgery with chemotherapy or radiation therapy like that okay so in convention here there are uh, some of the common uh, treatments uh, which are available uh, I mean, such as uh, surgery so in that procedure this uh, surgeon remove the cancer from uh, the patient body and there is uh, commonly available uh, therapy is the radiation therapy so in that uh, radiation therapy uh, uh, in that particular treatment uh, uh, they use high dose of radiation to kill the cancer cells and that is chemotherapy so in that, in that uh, the drugs which used to kill the cancer cells and that is targeted therapy this is also one type of cancer treatment that target the changes in cancer uh, cells that help them grow, divide and spread. Okay. So the, these are some of the conventional treatment modality in cancers. which will favor the nanoparticle can interact with these mutated cells 
okay so uh, different kind of uh, nano material are used so uh, in this section i am going to discuss more about this magnetic nanoparticle based uh, hyperthermia treatment okay so uh, this uh, in this uh, picture we can uh, say this uh, what are the different uh, processes happen during the hyperthermia okay so uh, the um, temperature which is clinically low in term temperature for uh, hyperthermia is in the ranges from 39 to uh, 45 degrees celsius so uh, within within this the elevated temperature uh, which can cause increase the rate of biochemical reactions and this would increase cell metabolism so we should uh, also cause the increased oxidative stress so um, which means the level of uh, reactive oxygen species um, which shows uh, to increase after exposure of uh, temperature from 40 uh, degrees celsius okay so this would arise principally from the increased generation of ros such as superoxide and hydrogen peroxide okay so this will cause some protein damage like oxidation aggregation and denaturation so the that uh, this protein damage will uh, leads to some uh, cellular uh, changes in different cellular changes and uh, some physiochemical changes so this will induce the uh, tumor cell death means okay so this is the uh, process is mechanism is happening in the hypothermia so in the particularly in the magnetic hypothermia uh, this uh, there are uh, most commonly used material for magnetic hypothermia are uh, ferrite nanomaterials and particles so this particular particularly this magnetite or magnemite are used so this when this nanoparticle uh, means uh, injected into the body or uh, the tumor site then it exposed to an alternating magnetic field this magnetic ion oxide nanoparticle uh, produces heat via um, two main mechanism okay the first one is the hysteresis loss and the second one is the relaxation losses okay so in hysteresis loss which occur in large uh, magnetic ion oxide nanoparticle which possess multiple magnetic domain okay when uh, such particles are subjected to an alternating magnetic field the orientation of the magnetic moment will align continuously with the direction of magnetic field so in this picture we can see that uh, direction of uh, means orientation of this um, moment uh, with the uh, magnetic field so this result the difference in energy that is released in the form of heat okay in that is hysteresis loss okay another one uh, to produce the heat in this magnetic ion oxide and a particle is the relaxation loss so in that first one is the nail relaxation so that relaxation loss is divided into two that is nail relaxation and another is brownian relaxation so when this um, uh, size magnetic ion oxide and a particle size decreases uh, until a single magnetic domain then that the size uh, that means the size is approximately 128 nanometer so below this size this uh, magnetic ion oxide nanoparticle seems like a super paramagnetic energy and in the presence of an alternating magnetic field um, the heat is mainly produced uh, by the relaxation process okay so that is in nil relaxation uh, there is a rapid changes in the particle magnetic moment when this ion oxide means magnetic ion oxide nanoparticle will exposed to the alternating magnetic field okay so this rapid realignment is opposed by the particles crystalline structure which result the generation of heat okay 
and the next is the brownian relaxation which is refers to the frictional heat generation uh, from physical rotation of the particle within a supporting medium when the particle uh, attempt to realign themselves with an uh, changing magnetic field okay so uh, likewise it produce heat okay so this is the way this magnetic nanoparticle produce heat okay so in next is mode of delivery of um, magnetic and means nanoparticle okay to the body to my side so there are different uh, mode of uh, delivery is there one is indirect uh, tumoral administration so in that um, in this case this uh, um, may nanoparticle which effectively localize this tumor site that can uh, result in effective heating of primary tumors such as prostate cancers okay so next is uh, intraperitoneal uh, mode that is the delivery uh, so in this way uh, this nanoparticle can enter into the cancer site and often spread to the uh, peritoneal cavity such as ovarian or pancreatic and gastric cancers okay so other uh, mode of uh, modes are intra arterial administration intra cavitary administration and intra venous administration okay so these are the some um, uh, different mode of uh, administration of nanoparticle to the tumor sites okay this is okay that's it this is all about this uh, some basics about how magnetic nanoparticle generate heat and how that um, heat can uh, induce the tumor cell death okay thank you for watching this video if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and contacts thank you